Welcome back to Let's Play Podcast. What's up? Um, our last episode was kind of a mess. Just. But you know what? We we have refreshed and reset, and we think we fixed all of our problems. <laughs> you know what's fantastic? What's fantastic, Ben? Is we have two episodes in a row that were just whoa. just whatever. <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> but don't watch it because they love us, right? <laughs> Exactly. Our talk is great. Um, so we're, we're in Cosmo Canyon. We just... Yes. We kind of failed doing our Barrett or recruit uh, dating glitch thing a couple times. So we have our backup for it, but we're just going to kind of skip it and move on, which is probably for the better yeah. in the end. Um, so now we're moving on with story and, and, and doing cool stuff. Um, you bet. I was going to say we could talk about what happened with Disney Infinity this week, but the stuff that's going to happen in the game right now is going to get very important. Gotcha. Um, not important necessarily, but it's very world building. Um, so now you have to go get your party members, right? Right. right. So you have to go get people to go into the observatory with you, which is very cool. Um, Anyway, we can mix we can mix things together like we always do. Yeah. Nobody, nobody's complained yet, so we're just gonna keep doing that. Um, so yeah, this week, um, or I guess it was last week, technically, and for those watching this, probably two or three weeks ago, um, Disney announced that they're canceling Disney Infinity. Yeah, that kind of surprised me. It came out of nowhere, man. Like. Disney Infinity is has good sales. Like it's not mm -hmm. like it's floundering, and they just they lose, they just canceled it. And I mean, for no real reason. Like the day after, Walmart was like cleaned out. Like they, their Infinity section is like gone. <laughs> it's like, geez, Walmart. We I, I, yeah. we we actually went to Target. Um, I think it was yesterday or the day before, just to like see if they were on sale or anything. They're all still there, just like normal, full price. So it was GameStop. Walmart just like jumped on it and they're like, all right, discounts, get rid of it all. <laughs> we're going to replace it with Amiibo or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's crazy. And what's even crazier is that since, um, since the cancellation, the announcement of the cancellation, because it's not, it's not over yet. Um, right. In June, we're getting, they're coming out with a Finding Dory set and they're also going to come out with a, another movie that I haven't heard of. Um, I think it's Pixar or something. Another set. So there's still there's still new sets coming out for 3.0, but development on 4.0 has been canceled. And what well, was going to be 4.0? I don't. Apparently they weren't going to call it 4.0, which I'm glad because the numbers start getting confusing and people don't understand. Um, yeah. But the quote unquote 4.0 so was that being last developed. Last question and it's gone. that I have yeah. was Disney 3.0 a completely different game? All, all like, of the did you have to buy another Disney Infinity? Yes. Yeah, that's confusing. It is confusing. Um, do, how much do you, do you not know much about Disney Infinity? No. Okay, all so, I know is I really wanted the figures. Yeah, and that's pretty much why I get them too. That's why, for, for adults, that's why we get them. The figures are actually really good quality. They're cool looking. They're good display pieces. Um, the games, The games are more for kids. They're not... They're not extremely well developed. Like they're fun, you can uh -huh. do cool stuff in them, but they're not great. Um, anyway, so I'll, I'll do a little rundown. 1.0 was like Disney and Pixar, right? They had uh -huh. the toy box, and you go in. And you had the little playsets that have like the story-based levels or whatever, um, and that was it. 2.0 is when they brought in Marvel. So then you had all these Marvel characters with their own story missions. You had like Avengers, you had Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. um, Spider-Man was there too. He didn't have his own oh. mission. Wait, did he? I think he did. Him and Nova had a set together. Um, yeah, because the Disney XD has that amazing Spider-Man TV show. Yes. Um, so And then 3.0 is when they had Star Wars, and then they had a... They had a episode seven set, and they had a old trilogy set, and, and they also, the had, they also set. had a prequel set. Um, well, level sets. They didn't have a rebels level set, but they had rebels characters. Oh. Um, 
And essentially, essentially how it works is that every game, when you buy, when a new version comes out, you have to buy a set. And unfortunately, that comes with another base, which you don't need. But you you get the game, which is 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, a disc, which is basically the play box, right? The play box right. or the toy box is this open world Minecraft-like game where any of your characters from the set that you're in or less. So if you have 2.0, you can use 1.0. And if you have 3.0, you can use 2.0 and 1.0 in it. You can use any characters and all of the tools from the old games to build whatever you want. You can build racetracks and you can build battlegrounds and you can build just whatever you want. And it's it's, it's cool. Um, then you have the actual play sets, which are the crystal things that come in the packs, which is like Guardians and Avengers and Spider-Man and different things like that. Those are actual story-like missions based on a movie or whatever. And so essentially you, it's DLC, but you buy a figure thing that goes with it. Right. And you can only right. use the figures that came in the set with that game. Typically. Um, I right. know, I know the, then the Marvel ones, at least once you beat it or did enough stuff, you could bring in other Marvel characters into it. But when you first play it, like when you play the guardian set, you have to use star Lord or Gamora. Cause those are the two that come in the set with the, uh. with, with the level. Um, Anyway, so the, the figures and stuff are really cool, and it, it would have been great. Um, I think it, it kept getting better every time. Like, the first game was mostly just, like, Disney developers or whatever. 2.0, they brought in Platinum <laughs> to do their, like, fighting engine and what? stuff. Um, so, like, there were a lot of developers working on these games and, like, building out all the systems and stuff. 3.0 added much even better fighting because you had lightsabers and stuff in the third one, as well as uh, vehicles like aircrafts and stuff. So like it kept getting mu- like a- more advanced with each game. Um, apparently, we don't know much about 4.0, but my assumption is that 4.0 would have finally brought it up to current gen and only been current gen, which would have been really good, a good jump. Um, uh-huh. So we would have only had PS4 and like xbox one or whatever um and apparently like in the in the leaks that they were talking about what stuff they were working on this year like in september they were going to release these 12 inch figures which are like super versions oh, of the old, other figures so they were going to be like 40 bucks a piece but they were like a foot tall like versions of like darth vader and like buzz lightyear and things like that oh, and they were supposed to be like really high quality like uh, material and like they had light light up and pieces and stuff i was like oh, no. oh that would have been awesome that would have been that would have hurt my wallet so it would have been so cool but all that's canceled now and it's so sad um, this is sad i think it's like if any like the while the game was lacking it was a really cool thing like it was it was like amiibo but it actually had a game to go with it you know, as right. far as how I f- feel about them, I have quite a few Infinity figures. I have more Amiibo, a lot more Amiibo. But I have quite a few Infinity figures only because I like the figures. I still want to go pick up um, at least a couple more. Um, I do want some Star I don't have any Star Wars ones yet because the last one I got was 2.0. But um, I also want to get, like, they came out with a Hulkbuster in 3.0. Yeah. That is the coolest looking figure of, yep. of all, even the Amiibo and stuff. It's the best looking figure I've seen uh, like these little interactive play figures it's so awesome looking the Ultron one's really cool too but the Hulkbuster one is just phenomenal yeah I, I have seen the Hulkbuster one yeah um and then like Darth Vader and Darth Maul look really cool Kylo Ren uh there's some really good ones I want to get and now I'm just waiting for that there's there's gonna be a point in time soon in the next couple months where it's like they're not making these anymore, so they're gonna sell it crazy and be really cheap. But then, as soon as you get past that point in time, they're all gonna get really expensive because they're not gonna be anywhere anymore. Yep. Um, and it's hard to pinpoint where that line's gonna yeah. be because apparently one of the reasonings for canceling it is overproduction, which I do see that side of it. I feel like they did. They had the opposite of the amiibo problem, where no matter where you went, you could get any Infinity Figure you wanted. Which is really nice, but it means that they made a lot of them. Um, so I'm I'm interested. I'm I'm hoping that point stays far enough away that I can get some money 
And right. I, can, I can go and just kind of buy all the ones that I want really fast and not have to worry about it. But uh, <laughs> we'll see. Because there's also some new ami amiibo coming that I need to get too. Uh, I still haven't gotten my Ryu amiibo yet. And, oh, uh, that's right. He's out already. And then uh, Cloud's going to be coming soon. And I have Cloud pre-ordered. You do? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't even know he was available for pre-order yet. I thought, um, uh, let me double check, actually. I I mean, luckily, out. Amiibos haven't really had the issue that they used to have anymore, which is nice. Like, I want Ryu, but every time I've been to a, a store, I've seen Ryu, so I'm not worried about him being gone. You know, speaking of Ryu, here's yeah. a topic I wanted to uh, I wanted to bring up. Okay. Um, so, just yesterday, well, for us yesterday, mm -hmm. it was announced that Pokémon Tournament Holy has, sold, shit. has outsold Street Fighter V. I saw that too, and it kind of like, I'm like, there's no way. There's no way that that's physically possible because not enough people have Wii U's. But I thought about it. And I also read the article that I saw and it did it did specify physical like retail units. Yeah. Which I well, did that did help the argument a little bit for me. I was like, okay, well, Wii U's can go with digital, but I know that most people aren't buying it digital. They're buying it physical in store. Um Street Fighter Five is another another case. I, I a lot I'm sure there's a lot of digital sales for Street Fighter Five. But um but aside from that, I did think about it and I was like, man, I'm sure the attach rate is a lot higher because we know how many PS4s are out there. There's fucking millions of them, you know? Yeah. Everybody's got PS4. Um, the attach rate from Street Fighter Five to PS4 is probably far less than Pokémon Tournament on Wii U. Um, of course, the other ones are like Mario Kart, which has a ridiculously high attach rate on Wii U. Yeah. It's like... It's like it's like 75 to 80 percent attach rate which is and I am, ridiculous i'm in that 75 to 80 percent me too i have it too um one of the few wii u games that i have it's mario kart mario kart and smash and mario world mario 3d world. Got, you know and i buy all of all of my games digital the only game recently that i've bought that isn't digital is um twilight princess I want the that too because I want the amiibo. <laughs> the only reason I bought a uh, physical was because I wanted the amiibo. So yeah. really, I just spent sixty dollars on an amiibo. Essentially, um, yeah. That I don't even want to really get Twilight Princess because I have it for GameCube and I it's great. Or I have it for Wii, and it's great and it's like it's fine. I beat it um, and stuff, but I don't really want to play say, it again. But I tried playing the the Wii the Wii version. Uh huh. I had the hardest time playing that game, yeah. and they have improved the control scheme so much. Oh, I'm sure. Um, so I, I, I think I'm sure it's great. Like I definitely wouldn't mind playing it again. I just don't have a need to, <clears throat> and I do want the amiibo a lot. That amiibo looks awesome, and it's got to come out separately at some point. But who knows? They might not because it's Nintendo. Um, yeah. Like, I do have Wind Waker HD that I finally got, and that's really fun. It's really good. The Wii U that we have is the uh, the special edition Wind Waker one, oh, so really? my gamepad has all of the nice. Hyrulean characters on it. That's cool. Hylian characters, but whatever you want to... Hylian, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That game was surprisingly good. Like... You know, I have the game itself. The, the remake of it was surprisingly good. Yeah, I've never finished a Zelda game. Never? Never. Like, I've started playing them. Dude. And I like them. Um, we might need to. Oh, um, yes, take definitely take Eris with you. And you have to take you have to take Fluffy with you. Um Definitely take Eris with you and make sure she has Restore on her, which I'm sure she already does. But and if um, yep, there it is in her millions of yep, yeah. Materials. Make sure she has that, and um, that's just a backup. Go see how many Phoenix Downs you have. Plus cheats. Don't forget cheats. That's not going to help you, actually, in this situation. Oh. You have nine? You're, that's plenty. 
You should only need one, but if it misses, you could have a couple more. Um, okay, you're good to go. I will tell you what that means later. Um, okay. Am I leaving Cosmo Cave? No, you're going to the Gi the Gi Cave, aren't you? Oh. Maybe go talk to Bugenhagen again. Bugenhagen. Oh, he's gonna be back up here, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's waiting for you in front of the cave. Um, it's right up above where that stand was, like up here to the right. Oh shit, maybe not. <laughs> I'm misremembering my panels. There he is. Just follow him. Um, man, you've never finished a Zelda game. Uh, we might have to play Zelda game next then. I uh, the 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 only problem I have with playing a Zelda game next mm -hmm. is I really think we should do something shorter first. Zelda's not that long, dude. Yeah. That's part of like the. I'm not talking about like playing Wind Waker or Twilight Princess, like. You can beat Link to the Past in a day. Easily. Okay. 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 Um, even Ocarina of Time, you could beat... It would take longer than Link to the Past if you... Eh. I would say that even Ocarina of Time can be a day game if you know what you're doing. Like, I could beat Ocarina of Time in a day. Um, well, lot to you but, I, but I've played it, like, 50 times. You know what? what's really funny about that yeah. is Lee... The only video games Lee has ever finished are all Zelda games. Are Zelda games? <laughs> well, Lego games. She's a, she's about to have finished Twilight Princess for the second time. Yeah. <clears throat> well, then she earns my respect. Hey, I am playing Final Fantasy. You are playing Final Fantasy, and I'm proud of you. Um, speaking of Zelda, I it was a couple weeks ago. I was I was sitting up at my at my makeshift desk. I was standing there. And I was messing with um, emulators because I was trying to figure out how to do how I was going to do Starbucks with Sam. Uh -huh. And I had set up like I, I opened up um, Link to the Past on a SNES emulator or a GBA emulator or something because I was um, I think it was a GBA it was the GBA version. Um, I'd opened up <coughs> Link to the Past and I was just testing or whatever, and I ended up starting to play it. And and keep in mind, I'm standing like I have this mound of boxes with a thing on it and then that's where my computer is standing on top of it and I'm standing behind uh, it. Shoot. Oh, sorry. And I'm using the uh, DualShock 4 that I have Bluetooth to the computer or whatever to play. And I'm standing here and I'm playing Link to the Past and the next thing I notice, I am in the Dark World, which is halfway through the game, essentially. Huh. Um, going to like the first dungeon in the Dark World and it's like three hours later, two hours later, not even. Um, like that's not even what I was going to do. I just started playing and just ended up there. <laughs> it just happened. Um, so not only is that testament to what Link of the Past is as a game, you're paying attention. Um, paying attention to you're what you're doing. Be breaking open these funny looking rocks. Yeah, break them all open. They're just items and switches and stuff, and enemy mm. fights. Um. But yeah, it's also a testament to I just not even thinking, just wiped through half of that game in two hours because A, I know it so well, and B, it's that awesome. <laughs> um, I still, I, I still, really I still go back and forth do, between Link to the Past um, and being Last nice. of Us. We will. We do we will do Last of Us. I do think that's a longer game than is all the game. And at least right now. Oh, good job. You learned Death Sentence. I'm sure you did that on purpose. Yep. Um, but I think after we finish episode 7, I'm playing Chrono Trigger with Sam. So that is, that's going to be the long game <laughs> for, the <laughs> second, for the second run. Um, so I do want to do, like, even, even like, Link to the Past might be a little long for what I want to do for the other games, but I think it'd be okay. It, it would be, like, 15 episodes or something, 20 episodes, which would be like three sessions of playing. And I um, mean, here's here's the other thing. We, we could do a thing with, uh, like if you're doing Chrono Trigger, we could theoretically do Last of Us at the same time and have that for Patreon subscribers. That's true, we could do that. And we because got by the time this episode goes live, I will have set up our Patreon. 
Really? Yes. Are you sure? Because this episode's not going to be too far away. I mean, I planned on having it ready to go by the beginning of June. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, this episode will be going live, like, uh, at the beginning of June. <laughs> so, that's cool. So if it's I've been not live yet, yet, it come, will be live very us. soon. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully we'll make, like, a dollar a month on Patreon. Yeah. Um, and then that person that gives us a dollar will get all of the episodes of Let's Play. Yep. Um, but yeah, and a like, special episode of Nightly Novels that I have lined up. A special episode? A very special episode. A Patreon episode. subscriber episode? What? A Patreon subscriber episode? I think it'll be it just released like early, early for Patreon subscribers. I think we'll get to the point where we release everything early for Patreon subscribers. Well, yes, but... So right now, that's all we can offer. Um, eventually, we'll do exclusive stuff. Oh, yeah. And that'd be nice. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I'd like to do Zelda, but that's still kind of a mid-range game. What I really want to do soon-ish, once we're like, can play in the same place, space and stuff, is going to be like um, one-shot games where we can do like an hour-long episode. That's the, essentially the whole, the whole series of that game. Like, uh, like I want to do Mega Man X. Uh, the X games. Um, things like that. The retro, ma mainly retro games, I guess. Retro games are shorter, and that's usually how one offs will end up being. Shorter games are like mini game type games. Right. Is that a lever? Uh, I don't think so. Oops. It's just a rock. It looks like a lever. Yeah. My, my video is a little blurrier now, too, because I'm on share screen instead of share play. Um,. Oh shit, I should have... Jesus! <laughs> There's four of them, they, they get a lot of turns. Ugh. Don't forget to try and get all your kills with... No, not get all of them, but just get kills with Eris. Right, I've that's been using um, Matcha Magic a lot. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> um, remember you have Big Guard too, that's a really useful... Which one actually, is that? It gives, you, it gives your whole party haste, barrier, and magic barrier. All at once. Okay. Basically, it's like, um, protect. It, it, uh, barrier protects against physical attacks, and then M barrier protects against magic attacks. I see. Yep. Oops, I used flamethrower instead of... Well, no, it worked. Um, and I didn't realize that there was only one enemy left. Yeah. So, uh... Ta-da! Yeah. Retro games. I think those... I want to introduce more, like, Star Fox was a good one, because it was only like six episodes, and it was done in one night, and it was cool. Um, games, shorter games that we can finish, like, in one play session, that can go up quickly, I think will be cool. I want to get more games completed, which will be nice. Like, ha having yeah. a complete series of shows on a, on the site, on the YouTube, for people like, I just want to watch them play through this whole game, and have it be, like, take an hour or two. Um, I will nice. say, um... I, I really enjoyed doing the Lego DLC stuff, or the Lego stuff that we yeah, did. Yeah, it was good. It was a nice three-episode chunk. Well, yeah. They were long episodes, but it was like one per one per level. It was it was, it was nice. Simple. Mm -hmm. uh, those are all online, too. Those are all out. Yeah. They sure are. We spent a lot of this episode talking about ourselves. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Okay. I think after this fight we should uh, say goodbye for today. Oh, okay. And then <clears throat> goodbye to them for today, not for us. We still have some yeah, more, more stuff to do. Um, Alright, so uh, we just finished that battle. Thanks everybody! Yeah. Subscribe and stuff. We're still trying to get to 100 for the Kiss show and all that jazz that we say every episode now, because yep. we're being professionals and trying. Uh, to and we to want you to like our stuff. stuff. We want you to be able to know when our stuff comes out immediately. Yes, we want. So we want the notifications to flood your internet. Indeed. Your email and your your phone and your Facebook and your Twitter Heck. and. To the yeah. Your YouTube. 
<laughs> uh, that made that that's probably gonna warp people away, actually. <laughs> anyway, well, you can turn it off too. Like, you can, we just we just want to subscribe. You know what, Mike? Let's end the episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Love you. <laughs>